Pop Tart Review number 36. Frosted Grape Flavor Limited Edition Pop Tarts. February 2015. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, y'all. So these are our Pop Tarts. Um, they're frosted limited edition grape flavor pop tarts. They're so cute. I they're would just like to cute. point out how there are two tone sprinkles. There's purple and like fuchsia kind of pink sprinkles, which pop I'm pink, super pop into. purple. Exactly. Everything. Our Go favorite ahead. colors. Like I personally hate purple but love pink. So it's like a compromise. Um, okay. Okay. Everybody so grab a try grab these a pop tarts. Um, I'm personally going to start with the side that has the most icing, so this side, just, Me to, too. just to give um, it a try. You're just going to crack right into I'm it. I'm cracking okay. it because mm -hmm. I want to I investigate the color on the inside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the scent. So the scent is that sickly sweet mm -hmm. um, grape jelly sort of scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a wine mm -hmm. tasting. You have to, mm -hmm. because it's grape, so it's double like a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. I have to really let all the flavors intermingle and mm -hmm. yeah, just speak to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I like mm -hmm. it so far. I have to say, first impression, good impression. Mm -hmm. To make all my biases clear, I don't really like grape flavored things. I don't like grape jelly. Mm -hmm. Um. So, just so you know that. But you love Pop-Tarts. I do love Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. So does the love Ooh. of Pop-Tarts outweigh the... No. Not so far. Not so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm kind of breaking off like I have these very toasty edges that got pretty toasted. My toaster was set to four. Oh my god, so Nina. That I, <laughs> I know Nina, right? So it could have something to do with it, but... um. I'm just breaking off all those edges just to make sure that I get the full pop tart experience. Mm. I personally love toasty edges, but hers were a little darker than mine, so I understand. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. it's not racist. No. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick filling to pastry ratio analysis here. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It looks like from that shot, it looks like the filling to pastry ratio wasn't great. But if I can get you just to explore again, you'll see that the filling to pastry ratio actually is quite adequate. So Mine's not much very so. Good. It's not? Mm mm. Mm. What? I feel like mine is quite good. What's a what's a good filling to pastry ratio? Well, mm. take a look at Brianna's. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's decent. That's a decent. That's okay. good. Yours is good too, Mine's actually. I apologize, viewers. I am a rookie at analyzing pop tarts. Mm -hmm. This is my first review, so, so bear, bear with me. Bear with Understandable. Me, um, so it looks to me like this is about. I'm gonna say a forty percent filling to viewers. Forty percent filling. It's close to close to half filling, half. Uh, um, you know. Uh, crust pastry. Pastry. Pastry is a technical term. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, pastry. Um, and to me, that is too high because I don't like the grape flavor. I would prefer mm. to have more pastry and more uh, frosting because that's mm. what is saving mm -hmm. it for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I am biased, and grape limited edition would be the last choice for me, I think. Honestly. Oh, you have not had unfrosted strawberry or the oatmeal delights? Oh, Those? God, or worse, unfrosted blueberry and oh. right? appeal to me way more than grape. We should have saved them wow. for you then. Yeah, we should have. Oh, here yeah, my awful. pastry to filling ratio is better. Um, mm -hmm. So uneven. Inconsistent. Very so. inconsistent. So inconsistent. Um, right there, they need to figure mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. um, the, the chefs, the chefs of the Pop-Tarts, please. Pop -Tart chefs, yeah. Yeah, Famous. stir a little bit I think bit they're more. engineers, actually, babe. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. I to he would know if there was an engineering <laughs> program for Pop Tart engineering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I um, offered at a couple of schools. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty exclusive. Right, and like. <laughs> so you're admitting that it exists. Well, my grades weren't good enough to get in. So, so you're denying that it exists because you were sad that you didn't get in. Okay, I understand. That's understandable. Um, so out of seven. Mm, I think I would give these, oh god, I really like these Pop-Tarts. Um, mm -hmm. Weird. 
Um, I think I'd give them like a five. Five out of seven. Holy I'm going to go with five out of seven for me. I really like these. I would eat them again. I have a, like this, it, this box. I feel like I'm going to eat a lot of that. I, I like them. Is this a Canadian um, audience or are we also broadcasting for American? It's worldwide? international. International all love. The world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, for if I were a conservative government, as in the Conservative Party of Canada, North or, Korea? or the Republican Party of the United States, I think this, if it was a public service, would be getting scrapped. Because okay. I'm only giving it um, probably a three out of seven. Okay. Um, wow, that's fucking harsh. I don't know if we've ever had that on a Pop Dirt review I'm before. Sorry. I understand. Oh, wow. Um, it's just, I'm a harsh critic. Wow. Like, yes. wow. Honestly, I'm only continuing to eat this as a service to our viewers. I'm going to give it a 3.5. I don't like it. I think that the grape flavor, like, isn't grapey enough. It's just, like, weirdly sweet. Like, I can deal with grape-flavored mm -hmm. things that are, like... Like those like grape grapes. candies. Grapes. Grapes are okay. Like I don't even love grapes, but like those grape ca candies, like those I can. Yeah. Oh, deal like the with. ones that are coated in the sour sugar and are yeah, and then yeah, like a whole bunch of grapes. Like those yeah. are good. Those are. But awesome. those are the only grape flavored thing I like, and this doesn't capture that quality grape flavoring. It just gets that weirdly sweet, not tart enough right. kind of grape flavor. Yeah. And I'm really not enjoying it at all. That makes sense. Okay, so I, f I feel like this is the biggest disagreement that we had thus far on Pop-Tart Review in terms of me giving it a 5 mm -hmm. and um, you giving it a 3.5 and mm -hmm. our special guest, Nick, giving it a 3. Mm -hmm. a Overall, three that's a 10.5 out of 21. Yeah, that's a fail. That... That's a fail. No, overall, oh, that's a pass. Know, Wait, oh, he failed it. That's a fail. Yeah, but he failed it. An average of the mean. Oh, yeah, an average the would be a score pass. is still a pass. So, um, and yeah. Nick and I did come into this with an anti grape bias. And I came into it with a grape bias. I love grape. We're actually, fully aware of our bias and we're working on it and we're being self reflective right. of that every single but day. Three out of seven. Um, so. Fail. Maybe if we were to come at this at a different, um, mm -hmm. when the political, um, climate, the political climate was a little bit more pro-grape and Nick and yeah. I mm -hmm. didn't hold such an anti-grape bias, Absolutely. Um, who Absolutely. knows what would happen. Who knows? But for now, um, we're going to have to say maybe, maybe don't buy this Pop-Tart. Unless you absolutely love well, weirdly, grape jelly. weirdly sweet flavor, grape flavor things that aren't yeah. tart enough to be a good grape flavor thing. So next time on Pop Tart Review, we will be expanding and exploring something entirely different. So, so different. Yeah. Make sure to tune in. Hey, absolutely. See you next time. Okay, see you next time.